application of the tourist visa is necessary mm -hmm. and what kind and what kind of an an application and what kind of a employment based petition is filed for them mm -hmm. it, it depends on a combination of factors right that's why it's so important to consult with a lawyer attorney jay golan who has 50 years of experience in u.s immigration law so call him now at 213-383-3222 you spoke of unskilled workers also, Attorney Golan. That's really good news. So meaning to say, if one were back home, does it apply to people here and to people also out of the country and they can just wait for their immigration papers? Yes. I see. Assume there is somebody, there is, there is somebody in, the, in the Philippines or in, or in Saudi Arabia uh, who is working as a caregiver. Or as a medical assistant, or as mm -hmm. a, or as a, or as an, or as, a, or as a, 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 an assistant nurse, okay, or as a dressmaker, okay. Uh, if there is a, 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 a potential employer, a prospective employer here in the U.S. Uh, who is willing to file an application for labor certification, which is actually an offer of employment. The Department of Labor will uh, approve the petition in a few months, maybe eight, nine months, and then the Immigration Service uh, will have to re uh, approve a visa petition. Uh, we call it an I-140 visa petition, and all this then goes to the American Embassy in Manila or in Riyadh, and and uh, and then they will be called in for an interview and get immigrant visas. Mm -hmm. and, and all this should not take too long. Yes. And can these uh, individuals start working only after they get the paperwork from the future employer? Only if, if they are outside of the U.S., yes. they can start working only when they come to the U.S. on an immigrant visa. Oh. What about after those who are here? They, if they were here? Those and, who are here... And if they were able to file an application for adjustment of status, are able to start working for the sponsor as soon as they get the employment permit. Anybody uh -huh. who applies for adjustment of status gets an employment card, an employment permit, within about two, three months after filing the application. And, and how long is that permit for Attorney Golan? Until they get a green card. Oh, I see. And that would take, like you say, less than a year, correct? Hopefully. Wow, that's really wonderful. And uh, Attorney Golan, the problem is sometimes it's not so easy to find a possible employer. What is What advice should we have from the previous experience you've had with other uh, clients? Uh, look, uh, uh, the, my only advice is that you need to uh, be active in your searches. Yes. Uh, you need to go through uh, 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 relatives, family members, and friends, and look around uh, who, who, where, where is somebody who has a business that could sponsor a person like you. Mm -hmm. Okay. And here, here, here is a, uh, uh, this requires some skill because maybe the business is not exactly the same line what you were doing before. Correct. Okay. Well, but maybe the type of position you had before still qualifies you for a position in this new business, mm -hmm. even if it is not exactly the same kind of business. And, and also, Tony Golan, it's, it's very important, correct? Uh, about the stability of the company, is that right? Yes, we need to show that the company has the financial ability yes. to pay your salary. Mm -hmm. And in my office, it, 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 it is our policy that we don't start such a case unless we see the sponsor's income tax return. Oh, I see. And if, without looking at the employer's income tax return, we don't begin such a case mm -hmm. because we need to make a decision at the beginning before we do anything right. that this case will
will be acceptable by the immigration service. Mm. 